Okay. Disney Pixar, anyone? Yeah. Boy Story? And everything <laughs> ended happily ever after. The end. Fair. So, final thoughts, anybody? Um, the pacing was... Yeah, re <laughs> horrible. Pretty much the stuff I was bitching about the entire time. <laughs> I'm I mean, bad now for doing that. I have... Um, I, mean, I had a fun time with the game, it's just, like, at some parts, even while solo, like, one or two parts are going to be extremely way too difficult, but then we blew through this like it was nothing, and this is supposed to be the hardest act of the game. And we fucked around for a lot of good, you know, half hour, 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah. If I may? Yeah, go, I draw go ahead. Go here? ahead. Sure. Having, having played World of Warcraft, I gotta say, if you haven't, if you care about World of Warcraft spoilers, and you haven't played the end of Kata, don't listen. But basically, end of Kata, like, you know dragons in Warcraft, you know, like, they're all mortal and shit. Yeah. This is the whole idea that they, they gave up their immortality and became mortal to save the world. Kinda sounds familiar, Tyrael giving up his immortality to save the world. And this whole idea of, like, oh, well now, it's the time of mortals and we will aid the mortal races, and it's like, yeah. I can't help but draw similarities between that storyline and this storyline. Does was it even have a writing team anymore? You know what I, I I basically the my opinion of this game is the same as my opinion of StarCraft 2, which is basically the story sucked, uh, but the the gameplay is there. The gameplay is is fun because they had they had basically Diablo 2 and StarCraft 1 to draw back on basically. So that's why they got that right, and they tried really hard to basically nail that. But the rest of it is just like no. Well. I'd say into the gameplay, yes, the gameplay is there. It's still yeah. Diablo at, at heart, but I think the way they go about it is much different, and I'm not sure I really like that. Like the way it gives you skills, it's I don't know. I just don't like it. Well, I, I didn't mind the skill system because that that means I get to use certain things immediately, and there's not as much of a reason. Like you don't have to get like like to for multi arrow the thing you had, you'd have to invest like 20 points in that into that fucking tree just to have that, uh, like. As it was but at in least, this game. But at least, Mike, if I wanted to, I could. But as it is, it's kind of, I gotta, if I want it, I gotta wait for it. And every subsequent playthrough of that class is gonna be the same, inherently. Yes, uh, I, I agree with that, though. It's gonna, it's basically gonna murder replayability. Because, uh, like, you know, I could play Necromancer or Bob in D2 so many different ways. And there's a level cap of 60 in this one, too. So, I well, Wiki, know. what do you think of the game? Yeah, Wiki, let's go. All right, so story aspect, I kind of liked some of the plot twist, but overall, then yeah, it wasn't as dark at all. I mean, like, what the what the hell's up with the ending? Disney Pixar, yes, I. <laughs> <laughs> Boy story. Boy story. You got a friend <laughs> in me. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna splice that over the fucking ending cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> you should. <laughs> All right. Now for gameplay, um, I do like the idea of being able to freely swap out any skill anytime I want. But uh, I don't know if like it's right. Uh, the whole idea of being able to have replayability, like in the previous game, I like because you know, like if you screw up, you have to make another character or something, and you try a different build. Whereas so this one, you just make one character, and then that's it. I mean, like, yeah. in the previous one, like, you had the option to be able to reset your skill just by completing that quest, or basically you have to earn uh, to be able to reset your stats. That one I liked. Now as to this one, it's just, like, just one character and all that. Now for Monk, um, I did like the whole comboing stuff and the idea of um, trying to dodge shit or something. Um... But yeah, I do not see him much as a tank, I think. What made him thought of the idea of being a tank was the whole dodge stuff and also this health stuff, actually, with the mantra of healing. Um, I might have to rely on that most of the time or having a very fast attack speed. Um, what else is there? Graphics? I know that you're um, paying attention a lot to this, like, it's not as good, like, compared to, like, StarCraft 2. For me, I don't mind as much, because, you know, we're seeing this from a bird's eye view, not, like, all close up or anything. But, you know, 
I don't mind as much. I just kind of agree with you on that statement. Uh, I generally didn't have a problem with the graphics in this. I just yeah. saw it as a general upgrade from Diablo 2. I mean, it kept the same... I wouldn't say the same art style, but it kind of represented more or less. I just I, I couldn't stand the art direction and just the, the texturing was really bad. I, I'm sorry, it was I didn't like it. They it, as I said, you know what I I hold them to Blizzard standards. From any other fucking company, I wouldn't really care, but Valve and Blizzard are two companies I hold I hold to a very high degree. And so when I see shit like that, I'm kind of like uh, this isn't Blizzard and and shit like that. So this is more new Blizzard. New Blizzard doesn't I don't know they're, they're not perfect, no. uh, but, but they're still. So, they're still leagues better than other companies. Sorry, go ahead. Well, I'll say the team they had working on this, most of them was, wow, the original Diablo 2 team is basically on Torch Flight 2 now. Um, a lot of them from that are even new to Blizzard themselves, where they're just coming in from Diablo 2 to work on the standpoint. That's uh, it. Uh, Torchlight, though, Torchlight has its own very unique art style, though. That's more like kind of cartoony kind of a thing. And that, that makes sense uh, for it. And, and you know what, the thing is, it, it was never a dark game, so I can't complain that it's not like Diablo 2. Like, it's it's its own game. Uh, but, I don't know. As I said, they didn't, they didn't stick with what I think it should have been, so... Well, and, you know, and I've said this a few times, I'm pretty sure it's on forum sites everywhere. The original Diablo 3 that got scrapped was basically an exact World of Warcraft knockoff, like, almost entirely. And, you know, it, it's shown here they kept, you know, how many different elements of that. Um, you and Wiki both have talked about that, and Kant's making comparisons. No, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't a World of Warcraft knockoff. They they, they were... Okay, Blizzard North was making uh, Diablo 3, and apparently Blizzard was not happy with what Blizzard North was doing, so they, they scrapped it, and they, um, they got rid of Blizzard North, and that's why the employees went to go on to Runic and whatever to make... Uh, right. In a direct uh, interview, though, they said that uh, it was more, it was basically World of Warcraft clone. It, why, it, why Blizzard themselves out said that. Blizzard North employees themselves basically said that. No. And they said, well, why would you do that? If you're going to do that, you're going to play World of Warcraft, they scrap the entire thing. And there's no, probably no, no, other no. things I don't know about, but. There's some kind of discrepancy here, because, okay, um, Lord of Destruction came out 2001, and WoW came out in 2004. What the fuck were they doing for four years? Because WoW hadn't even come out yet. Well, it was basically they would put Diablo 3 on hold. They were focused all their attention on WoW. After Diablo 2, they did the expansions. They pretty much just went straight to that. And then they tried to make it more MMO-ish, I'm guessing, is why they took... You know, I can only speculate here, but... I'm guessing that's why they went World of Warcraft. But then, you know, like you are saying, they scrapped it. And kind of what you had said, that's... You know, and in the interview they said if you're gonna play World of Warcraft, you're gonna play World of Warcraft. No, that that, that was what was why they weren't making this MMO like. That's that's what the reason they, but Blizzard North wasn't doing that. They they apparently just Blizzard just thought that the, the quality wasn't up to par, so oh. they, they, they just they got rid of the company basically. Well like I said, I'm just speculating on some of it. I don't know the full story, but I'm just kinda of going off what I've heard and what I've read. Whichever. I don't know. I, I still think it's worth the money because I, I paid uh I paid sixty bucks for less than this. Uh, like, fucking, I don't know. I can't think of any examples off the top of my head. Dead Island? Was that 60 bucks? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, yeah, but we got we bought a four packs. So it's technically 40. Although that was infinitely entertaining because of the car driving stuff. You know, I, I, I think it was worth the money just for that. <laughs> and what would you say, Wookie? Would you say this game was worth the 60? Um, definitely yes. You'll, you'll get your money's worth. I mean, you're going to play probably, like, more than likely at least twice with every class maybe a bit into hardcore uh and also you know you you, you play it basically four times with each character so and it, and it does get challenging later on uh so we'll probably stream all of that um so you can watch watch us do that like us four we'll just keep these characters going i guess uh some sometime i don't know or maybe we'll just do other characters maybe if you like switching it up and just doing a nightmare run if we build up off camera or something or have other characters we just feel like fucking around with actually i wouldn't mind that that, that would be kind of nice because i, I still, mean we go ahead no, i still haven't tried witch doctor at all like i fucking got up to like level 10 with some other someone else and that was it i want to try that oh well okay well uh i i hope you guys enjoyed um i i by the way i don't know if you guys want to see torchlight 2 at all um i was getting the feeling that a lot of people don't like the fact 
uh, that I did an ARPG. Because uh, that was, I don't know. Um, I, I guess Diablo 2 ran upon commentary alone. But Although I did Diablo 1 at one point. So I don't know. Do you, do you guys well, want to see more? Single player. Uh, hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was. Although we could do that co-op, but I don't know. Anyways. Oh. Um, so would Just... you guys want to see Torchlight 2 or any other ARPGs? I don't know. If you guys didn't find it that interesting, then I won't do it then. I want to see it. Yeah, fuck you. You're not, you're not. You're probably not watching this video, Ken, bitch. You know what? I'm gonna disprove you. I'm gonna watch this video. I'm gonna leave a comment. <laughs> Fuck you, no. You're just gonna look at the last part. And you're gonna go like, oh, this is the part where the credits are. Well, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You have. You have to. You have to wipe your mind, and and then you have to go in. So, so, um, smell some chloroform or something, and then I don't know. Wait, does, does, it, does that erase your memory? I don't know. <laughs> what? Ken's a scientist and he laughed. <laughs> what does uh, chloroform do? I don't know. What does it smell like, Ken? Tell me. I don't <laughs> smell this rag. <laughs> <laughs> Use that pickup line on me last week. All right. Well, you guys all have a have a very nice day, and uh, hope you enjoyed our uh, playthrough. Yep. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye. Wow, these credits are really long. Are, are they going to end at any point, do you think? <laughs> no, they're, <laughs> no, they're only in the internationals. I mean, it's probably another two minutes or so. I don't know. We can talk about something else instead of ending it. <laughs> Put some Toy oh, Story music in there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Toy Story music? Yeah, it's like the music is all <laughs> gone. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Let's splice in some, you know, quiet music in the background. Toy Story going on in the background or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, like the little open up box of it goes, You got a friend of me. <laughs> okay, God. Have, just have like Woody on the left side of the screen. <laughs> You're my favorite deputy. Just have, like the ending scene from Toy Story 3. I would spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it, but yeah. Don't. Uh, that made me cry. But I actually, I actually I shed a tear. Manly tear, of course. Sure. That, that was a sad so ending, though. Fucking, I love Pixar. God damn it, they're so good. Not dark enough. What, what do you mean? Not <laughs> <small blood? laughs> At least there wasn't like Diablo in there, like fucking telling you every three seconds, you will never reach me, Nephilim. No. Oh my god. It's fucking like cartoon villain Diablo. I can't handle him. I, I, I You'll know. never defeat me! <laughs> Here. You'll never defeat my minions ten seconds later. Uh, what the hell just happened? <laughs> God, that, it's, it's, not, it's not what just happened. It's like ten minutes, ten seconds later. You'll still never defeat me. I know. It's just like literally, we're ten seconds. We're like, was that a fucking boss? Actually, I, actually, I should mention right now um, <laughs> the way they did the playtesting. I don't know what the fuck they playtested on on, the, on this thing because I, I think it's I think it's absolutely terrible the the pacing of normal. But uh, apparently, what they did for Inferno is okay. So the, uh, if you if for anyone who doesn't know, they have normal Nightmare Hell and then in, uh, a new difficulty a new difficulty called Inferno. And so apparently, what they did was they um they bounced it to the point where they themselves couldn't beat it and then they doubled everything that i don't i don't know they they're just like people are going to find broken builds and so that's why we're going to double it but it was a stupid idea to begin with because basically it actually removed a lot of options cuz things like the meteor and um half of the abilities that wizard has or or any class for that matter um, basically, you have to spend your time in the fucking auction house getting like a bunch of great gear, uh, to to because or else you could be just basically farming for two hundred hours to basically find good gear to go into Inferno in the first place. I haven't been to Inferno, but this is this is what I hear, and it's just like everything is just kiting and 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 just fucking uh, just just like a, a, the elites are the worst part, like the the elite monsters, and it's just like a fucking three three minute engagement, like just that's it. That's that's exactly what's gonna happen. Like even uh, me and Shikra are right now in, near the end of hell, and we're even having that problem where we're just kind of getting tired because some of the combinations are just fucking insane. Like they have like fire chains, fast uh, jailer, and uh, and fucking I don't like know, arcane or something. I mean, yeah, just literally, we're literally at the end of the dungeon, and by the end of the fight, we're all the way back up in the entrance to the last floor. <laughs> 
Yeah, because it's just they, like it, <laughs> some of these guys are just like good game. It's over because it's like you're going to be spending like just infinitely respawning in waves trying to I mean, kill them. I mean, there's only so much. I mean, yeah, I'm playing a demon hunter in the other playthrough, and I'll just say there's there's you can only dance around a target for so long before you know you're gonna fuck up. Or something's gonna screw you over. Yeah, it's... a huge wall of names. Are we like almost done with this credits? No, yeah, right. I, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I was actually looking. I, I played some hardcore characters in in Diablo two, and I found it to be a lot of fun. But they have a lot of shitty mechanics in this one actually that prevent you from like that. that they're just designed to kill you outright, and you can't do the things like. Um, if for anyone who played Diablo 2 Hardcore, you'll know that basically if if any if anything looks wrong, like if you think you're about to die, you basically alt F4 right away. In this game, if you alt F4 or restart your computer or anything, you are still in the game for 10 seconds. So it's all server that, side. Yes. So if you if you are beside something, uh, that's going to kill you. You are going to die when you're not in the game. Uh, you can imagine how frustrating that might be if you get like a lag spike or something. So basically, it's the the whole rule of I guess hardcore is don't fucking lag, and get ready to run the fuck out if if uh, there's something. Because basically, if there's some kind of elites or something that that you don't want to face, you just fucking don't be, don't even bother. Just 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 you quit the game and you try it again. Basically, like I can't see progression and nightmare happening in any other way, or sorry, not nightmare, uh, hell or inferno. In fact, I don't even think unless they do some major balance changes, I think it's just it's not happening. I'm not gonna I'm gonna do normal maybe just just for the hell of it, just to have fun with it. But you know, I I, I was playing on like I was gonna go like oh wow I get ten character slots I'm gonna do like five one of each class and then one of each class in in hardcore. I was like I was so pumped for it because I was such a huge fan of that in Diablo two. But I think right like it's not viable here. Like it's just you're gonna piss yourself off. Like it's you you, you much you just much it must be like someone just likes. Masochistic wasting your time. Word. No, just Masochistic. wasting your t wasting your time. You know, you spend so much time on a character, and then just some bullshit comes out and just kills you outright. Like I want to be the guy. <laughs> yeah, no, this is I want to be the guy in Diablo form. Yeah, that, that's basically killed by an apple. So I have two notes to make. One, I saw James Kirk at the credits somewhere. Who's that? Kind of lol. James K James T Kirk. Oh, okay. <laughs> kind of lol. And the whole point you're saying there about how, you know, the, the jailing and all these mechanics in the game that are kind of bullshit, that's yeah. what I was talking about earlier with the whole, like, you feel like if a death is your fault or the game's fault, you know? No, no, you, you, you don't even understand. Like, you cannot outrun these guys. They're teleporting. They're fast. They have some really, bu like, they have some really bullshit abilities sometimes, too. Like, right. there, there's mobs that are invincible, uh, except for one guy, and when you kill him, everybody does. But that that that, that was kind of creative. But then they start mixing it up with things like um, modars, which is basically like basically the anti everything that is ranged class uh, uh, type of thing. And basically, they, they 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 lob these fireballs at you, and when you get hit by them, uh, you pretty much die outright in 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 inferno and in hell. Well, later on in hell, depending upon how you build okay. your character. Let's put it this way: um, I had to turn a demon hunter into a tank for about two minutes to fight shit like that. You shouldn't have to do that. You really shouldn't. I mean, it, you can do it, but I mean, it's possible, but you shouldn't be able to do that. It's not how the class is supposed to be played, but you can do it. Also, I should mention that tanking isn't really viable in this because uh, they never they never stay they never stay on the person who's trying to tank. They never do. They they uh, they're programmed to seek out people individually sometimes. So like everybody has to has to learn how to kite, and maybe the barbs don't. But apparently the barbs are pretty weak too. Like uh, I know, I remember Sod. Uh, Sod's our barb in our other characters. He, he sometimes he even has to run. Like he he's been trying to build a tanky character, but when there's like fire chains and shit going on, like they purposely like surround him and like fuck him up the ass and shit. I don't know. No, there's times like that when he gets fucked over. That's basically when I basically uh, turn into a tank and I start dancing around shit and break him off of him, and I'm running you know three of these guys behind me. Oh. Uh... We're like at the end credits now, I think. And like, we are. Wait, yeah. zero ob for us. Oh, look, someone's fucking email. Oh, that's the person I think who made the OGG format. Ooh, Google protocol buffers. Yeah, let's let's thank Google. Google right now wouldn't be able to find porn without you. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so and... Ken, like, you're pretty much new to all this. This is the first time you've been through the game. Uh... Any thoughts on what me and Mike have been talking about, essentially? 
Uh, we're huh? at the end here. Yeah, we are. We're at the end. It switched over. <sighs> okay, bye guys. Or does Wiki do you want to say something? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Yeah, if you have anything in mind. Say say something in the monk's accent. <laughs> uh, let uh, that be the <laughs> goodbye thing. Let that be the goodbye thing. Go. Farewell, comrade. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Bye, just guys. like I'm just like burnt out a little bit. <laughs> oh no, that's fine then. Bye. Bye guys. So long. Hope you've made your peace. <laughs>